Before you watch this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Social Media Gemini TV and do not forget to press the notification button and to get more information. Hi, this is Azenius for today's episode. Four Malaysian Prime Minister admits to hospital due to cardiac issue. A spokesperson for Mahathir says Malaysia's former Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad admits to hospital. The spokesperson also says Mahathir admits to the cardiac care unit at the National Heart Institute but gave no details. Mahathir was last in the same institute less than two weeks ago for a medical procedure. The hospital did not say what procedure Mahathir, who has a history of heart problems, had undergone. Mahathir was Prime Minister from 1981 to 2003 and held the top post again from 2018 to 2020. French energy group Total Energies decided to withdraw from Myanmar. French energy group Total Energy says it had decided to withdraw from Myanmar because of the worsening human rights situation there, becoming the latest Western company to pull out following a coup there last year. The local non-governmental organization, Assistance Association for Political Prisoners, says since the coup Myanmar security forces have killed more than 1,400 people and arrested thousands to try to crush resistance. The junta seized power, alleging widespread fraud in November 2020 election won by a landslide by the civilian government led by Aung San Suu Kyi. Meanwhile, international and local monitoring groups says there were no major irregularities with the vote. Total Energies did not quantify the financial impact of the withdrawal, but say the country represented a minor part of its revenues. Total Energy says it had notified its partners in Myanmar of its withdrawal which will become effective at the latest at the expire of a six-month contractual period. Britain dies and other people injured in Thailand after knife attack. Police says Britain finds dead at his home with knife wounds in western Thailand and a Thai suspect was in a custody. Police in Kanchanaburi province says another British man, 55, suffered injuries and was in hospital, adding that further evidence was being collected. Police says, according to the preliminary investigation, a talent man was suspected of attacking the two with a rice sickle for drinking and playing music loudly. Video of local media Thai PBS shows police officers and forensic examiners at sea night collecting evidences and weapons suspected to have been used in the crime. A witness a residence at the scene told police that both victims were drinking since the evening until 3 a.m. while both were singing loudly in front of their resident when the 23-year-old male suspect, also a neighbor, came out of his house with a rice sickle and started hacking one of them. According to the Thai PBS, the other British national who witnessed the incident tried to stop the suspect and got injured during the fight. Local media says the suspect had a history of mental health issues. Police says his history was still being investigated. Police of Thailand charged the suspect with murder after a knife attack in Thailand. The police says a Thailand suspect charges with murder after a 49-year-old Briton was found dead at his home with knife wounds in western Thailand. Police in Kanchanaburi province says another British man, 55, suffered injuries and was in hospital. He adds that further evidence was being collected. Footage from the local media shows police officials speaking with a man whom the authorities identified as a 23-year-old suspect in a room after he was charged. Local media says the suspect had a history of mental health issues. 
Police says, according to their preliminary investigation, the Thai man was suspected of attacking the two with a rice sickle for drinking and playing music loudly. Police says his mental health history was still being investigated. Thirteen people injured in Japan after a quake of magnitude 6.6 hit the southwestern part of the country. According to the local media reports, an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.6 .6 jolted southwestern Japan, injuring 13 people. Footage shot by local television shows burst pipes flooding the street and debris on the ground after a wall collapsed due to the earthquake. The Japan Meteorology Agency says no tsunami warning issued after the quake struck within an epicenter 45 km deep at 1.08 am of the coast of Kyushu, the southernmost of Japan's four main islands. The agency says the quake caused shaking in Oita and Miyazaki prefectures that measured 5 plus on Japan's seismic intensity scale, which has a maximum of 7. 13 people were injured in nearby regions, including two people in their 80s who were seriously hurt, the Yumiori newspaper reported, citing local authorities. Public broadcaster NHK says multiple reports of damage to buildings, water pipes and roads have been confirmed. China accuses the United States and Japan of baselessly scrubbing China. The Chinese Foreign Ministry accuses the United States and Japan of baselessly smearing China after a virtual meeting between United States President Joe Biden and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. Biden and Kishida agreed in their meeting to boost cooperation on pressing economic and security issues including China, North Korea's missiles and Russia's threat to Ukraine. Biden and Kishida had a very in-depth discussion on China, sharing concerns about its intimidation of neighbors and predatory steps in trade and other realms. A United States official of the meeting says that Kishida was particularly concerned about China's nuclear build-up. Biden and Kishida's online meeting was their first substantial talks since Kishida became Japan's Prime Minister in October 2021. The United States and Japan agree enhanced cooperation in economic and security fields. United States President Joe Biden and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida agrees in a virtual meeting to boost cooperation on pressing economic and security issues including China, North Korea's missiles and Russia's aims in Ukraine. The online meeting, the first substantial talks since Kishida became Japan's Prime Minister in October 2021, followed this month's so-called 2 plus 2 discussions at which defense and foreign ministers from the longtime allies voiced strong concern about China's growing might and vowed to respond if necessary to the stabilizing activity in the Indo-Pacific. After the meeting, which lasted just under an hour and a half, Kishida says they had agreed to cooperate to realize a free and open Indo-Pacific, to work closely on China and North Korean missile issue, and also to cooperate on Ukraine. Kishida also says Japan will host the meeting of the Quad Grouping of the United States, Japan, Australia and India in the first half of this year with Biden visiting. Chinese President exchanges congratulatory messages with President of Israel to celebrate 30th anniversary establishment of diplomatic relations. Chinese President Xi Jinping exchanges congratulatory messages with Israel President Isaac Herzog to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries. In addition, Herzog says that since the establishment of diplomatic ties 30 years ago, the two countries have been deepening their bilateral relations with exchanges getting even closer. Herzog adds, bilateral cooperation has reaped bumper harvest in such fields as economy, agriculture, health, tourism and culture, which has benefited the people of the two countries. China stands ready to work with Israel to uphold the spirit of win-win cooperation, strengthen political mutual trust, and further improve pragmatic cooperation in various fields so as to push for greater development of bilateral relations. 
In his message, Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett says since the two countries fostered diplomatic relations 30 years ago, especially since the establishment of an innovative comprehensive partnership five years ago, bilateral cooperation has developed in an all-round way. Bennett voiced confidence that Israel-China cooperation will continue to deepen in the future so as to bring more gains to the people of the two countries. Well, that's the wrap up for today, everyone. And we also like to thank you, Lois Post to Wardrobe Collection. Stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you soon.